Okay, then in, in this video we are going to go show you how to trap carbon dioxide in a bottle like this. Can I show this? No. <laughs> we'll be using the the baking soda and vinegar reaction in which it makes sodium acetate and the carbon dioxide. The, the sodium acetate will go stay and the carbon dioxide will go in there and not all of it because because when carbon dioxide is dissolved in water, it makes carbonic acid. Okay, you will need a test tube and, and like a glass straw with a stopper with one hole. Hole a, like a vat of water. There and a lid and the jar. <laughs> jar D and the baking soda is in a little cap so and the vinegar is just in the test tube so that it to, that it will regulate the amount of carbon dioxide going out. If that there is too much, it the test tube may may this go into pieces of glass. <laughs> oh my! Yeah. So we are going to start. Let us go. Oh, starting. Good. We got lots of carbon dioxide. Put this down so that see the bubbles I come in. Yeah, I see them. The camera's catching. Neat. It. Oh, well, here, you hold it, Etienne. I got too much to do. Okay. You're going to hold the bottle? Okay. Yeah. The camera's wow. catching. This is you great. Like it. Look at all of the carbon dioxide yeah. catching. Well, I think that's about it. Mm. Is there any more coming? Nope, that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, here, do you yep, want me to that's it. put the lid on? Uh, or do you want to do it? We have uh, did like an error. Oh, we did? What was our error? Uh, we, there was a, a, all of the contents had went for the straw, yeah. which, which was minimizing the carbon dioxide. There we go. We carbon, have some carbon dioxide. dioxide. Oh. In a bottle. Yeah. Wait, this breath in the bottle. You can end the movie. But there's 